check. Why don't you get the door? <laughs> Two minutes and 39. Ha! I'd say that was pretty fast, huh? Well, it definitely wasn't slow. All right, all right. Well, I guess we have something to work on. Is he following us? Yeah, he's following us. Huh. Why do they always follow us? Hey, buddy. I found this cargo. Fair and square. Sorry. Not sorry. There are plenty of other derelict ships out here. Look. Look, there's one right over there. Look, I'm sure you can go and find... <gasps> he cut me off. Ah, don't worry, Chip. They wouldn't risk damaging the cargo. Okay, never mind. Chip, hit the button on your right. No, not that one. The big one. No, 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 no! The one next to that! There's our window! Let's get out of here! See, uh, nope. Ooh, looks shiny. But that's not gonna work for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nope, not nah, definitely not. Oh, haha! -ha. Perfect. Looking sharp, buddy. Skirmishes on Tatrum. Ships from the Saimari fleets have been gathering on the Octoran borders. As tensions rise with the Saimari Collective, the public are concerned this could erupt into major conflict. In other news, Whoa! Ships continue to block Kira! What are you doing here? Trying to scare you. <laughs> I wasn't scared. Uh, uh, startled, maybe. Startled's different than scared, right? Uh, Kira? Ah, oh, here we go. Hello there! How can I be of... <coughs> hey! Watch it! I like that gun. Section 42 of Arcturan Law states civilians aren't authorized to carry weapons in trading areas. 
I'm gonna need that. And section six, paragraph 17 states trading permits are required to do business at Arcturan spaceports. State your name. Owen Ryder. Mr. Ryder, do you have a permit? Shouldn't your little device tell you that? So you don't have a permit? I didn't say that. So you do? And I for sure didn't say that. Mr. Ryder, need I remind you the consequences for insubordination? Failure to provide the necessary documents will result in a fine. Repeated offenses will result in more fines. If the party involved does not wish to comply further, their assets and licenses will be confiscated, and the individual or individuals will be apprehended. Is that clear? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Loud and clear. Now collect your permit and leave. And no weapons next time! <sighs> I can see why you like it here. All these rules are... exhausting. I think I handled that quite well, don't you? Uh-huh. Does this belong to you? I was wondering where I'd put that. <laughs> what are you doing here, Kira? You never venture this close to faction space. Who's my favorite droid? Yes, you are! Oh, what a good boy! What a good, cute boy! Hello? Can I not simply visit my beloved friend? And you as well, I guess. But, you're right. I'm on business. I could use your help. And by business, you mean... I have a contract to retrieve a package on Malagor. It's located inside one of the geothermal stations out in the toxic wastelands. Apparently, the Dread Pack have control of that sector. We'll need to break in, steal the package, and return it to the Arcturan homeworld. The place is heavily fortified, so we'll need to stop by and hire a few Striders to assist us. Please don't make me repeat all that. Kira, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm no longer a Strider. I quit, remember? And besides, you know the crime for leaving? They'll want me dead if they found out I joined an opposing faction. This isn't a contract for the Striders. It's for me. I'm asking for their help, but that's as far as it goes. It shouldn't be a problem anyway. Garn has no reason to suspect you joined the Arcturian Union. I want their help, but I also need people I can trust. And you look like you could use the work. <sighs> well, sounds like you need quite the pilot to get you there. And I figured you missed having me around. I know someone did. It's good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Uh, hey, Octurn Station. This is the Atlas requesting permission to travel. Roger, Atlas. Stand by for clearance. They really have you bowing at their feet, huh? Ship registration verified. You may begin your approach. I thought I'd see Malagor again. Well, it's nice to have a warm welcome. Maybe. 
Slow down, Chip. It isn't safe here. We'll be back soon, okay? Get here. Give me a break! My ship's engines gave up on me! Piece of junk! Oh, and my team! Oh, man! I tried telling them what to do, but did they listen? Nope! No, they did it. It's not easy when incompetent fools can't follow simple orders! I keep hearing excuses, Garrick. You're not giving me any results. Ugh, it wasn't my fault, man! These weapons break down at the worst times! Maybe if you gave me some better ones, I'd actually have a better chance. Four contracts. Four failures. I'm beginning to lose my patience. Well, if you weren't so tight on payments, maybe I'd have a bit more incentive to get the job done. I think I see what the problem is. <laughs> you think you've got problems? Oh boy, let me tell you, I have a whole list of problems! As my day grows darker, suddenly, it's made a little brighter. Kira, to what do I owe the pleasure? I see you've chosen to shoot your problems away. A minor inconvenience. Garrick wasn't quite as effective as you. Though your recent lack of contracts is adding to my list of concerns. Surely you could find another Strider to fill my shoes. Besides, I've had my own business to take care of, part of which has led me here. And what is this business you speak of? The Dread Pack have something of mine. It's guarded, of course, but nothing the Striders can't handle. You've wanted them dealt with for some time, right? Indeed. Well, it shouldn't be hard for someone of your reputation. You flatter me. And all of this... Wouldn't be a problem, of course, had Owen Ryder not joined the Arcturian Union. Owen, you disappoint me to think a once great strider turning their back on it all. And for what? That wretched faction continues to expand into our territory. And now you've elected to aid them. Yes, I had you tracked the moment you joined the Union. Part of me is grateful you eluded one of my striders. Now I have the opportunity to eliminate you myself. Hold up. It was me who convinced Owen to join the Union. Things got dicey for us back then. I figured protection from a faction would keep him safe. He kneels before the Union now. I will not allow such filth into our guild. Come on, Garn. It wouldn't be hard for Owen to leave the faction and re-enlist with the Striders. You could certainly do with the replacement. Your persistence is relentless, Kira. I will accept these terms. Then we have a deal. No. The decision to join the Arcturian Union was mine. Kira had nothing to do with it. I still stand by my choice. Is that so? 
Let us deal with the Dread Pack. You want them gone, right? Well, if we succeed, great. If not, well, you wanted me dead anyway. You don't even need to risk your striders. How unfortunate. You have a spark of tenacity, Owen Ryder. Very well. Deal with the Dread Pack on your own. I will grant you this much. But when the job is done, my striders will come for you. And, Kira, we shall discuss your deception when you return. Owen, without their help, we'll be seriously putting our lives in danger. We had everything worked out. Yeah, except for the part about me rejoining the Striders. I can't go back to that way of life. Not after everything we did. Yeah, the factions aren't perfect. But I want a life where I don't need to claw my way through the chaos. At least in the chaos, there is a balance to things. Everyone has the same freedom to live whatever life they want to lead. I made my choice, Kira. I'm sorry. Are you sure that's what you want? I'm certain of it. Then, I guess there's no other way. <sighs> Come on. Let's head out. Guards near the landing area. The rest of them must be inside. Let's handle this like we did back on Galliston. You mean when I dragged you unconscious back to the ship? <laughs> okay, maybe not exactly like Galliston. Right. How'd I do, Chip? Yeah, you would say that. You're up, Chip. Work your magic.
Whew, that wasn't so bad. Not as bad as your timing. This must be it. How do we move this thing? Not that one. No. This one? Why would it be that one? Oh, <laughs> that's right. It's the green one. <laughs> I knew that. What do you think's inside? I'd like to think it's something no one's going to miss. You know, like a box of socks or something. 50,000 credits for a box of socks? Maybe they're really nice socks. Hey, we're home, Chip. Clear the cargo bay? We've got quite the package.
Using Air Atlas, destination the hell out of here. Whew! Did you see that? Ha! We were so close to death. But, as always, I'm the one pulling you out of the fire. <laughs> yes, I am. Every time. I was enjoying myself. If it weren't for me, we'd be leaving empty-handed. All right, Kira, I guess you can take some credit. I owe you one. More than one. Soon we can fix the cargo bay door, add some bigger guns to the front of the atlas. <gasps> Ooh, Chip, we can finally get that paint job you always wanted. This job's really gonna get us back on our feet. Thanks, Kira. <laughs> the Acturan homeworld. See, Kira, that's what I call a warm welcome. Look at all those ships. Security seems tighter than usual. Are the Saimari fleet this close already? Atlas, we're detecting unusual signals on board. Please verify. Uh, negative on that one, buddy. Everything's fine and dandy over here. Mm-hmm. Stand by. Scan in progress. Continue your approach. What's going on? Scan complete. We're detecting dangerous cargo aboard your vessel. Please power down your engines or we will fire on you. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Hold on there. We've just come here to make a trade, that's all. Kira, what did we... Thank you. 